Have you ever heard of the importance of keeping an acid-based balance in the gut? A lot of people are thinking eating alkaline helps. That's true, there's some truth to that. So if you think about the acid-based balance, the acid has, uh, has a different um, pH. Zero being very acidic, seven being neutral, 14 being alkaline, okay? So seven is neutral. When you think about the gut, uh, the acidity in different parts of the gut vary, okay? But for the most part, the foods you eat very much actually have the ability to acidify or alkalinize your gut and your blood, okay? And I'm not talking about the, the acidity of the food outside of your body, okay, like lemons or vinegar. I'm talking about the acidity of the byproducts of digestion after math, like after the food's been processed, after digestion. The kind of aftermath it has as far as the acid-base balance is important. So then what you would be asking, well, how do I alkalinize my gut and my system? That's a good question because alkalinizing your gut equals to promotion and growth of the good bacteria and um, helping your gut balance overall. Some of the bad things that acidify your gut and your system include alcohol, animal protein. In fact, the combination of these two in excess can cause gout, dairy, soda, processed foods, nicotine, refined sugars, artificial sweeteners, and caffeine. I have to admit, I'm pretty much guilty of drinking caffeine too and once in a while alcohol but you guys this in combination is a disaster it's going to acidify your system in contrast the alkaline gut is one where you're eating fruits and vegetables and sprouts this is what alkalinizes your body sometimes people ask me well what about alkaline water wait a minute you cannot eat dairy and meat and processed foods and refined sugars and drink alkaline water and think that's done. No, that doesn't work that way. The meat goes through your system for hours and hours. It's basically putrefied in there. It sits there for so long it putrefies because the GI tract is long. We're not carnivores, right? We're herbivores. So the meat goes in there and it's just sitting there and producing acid the whole time. Uh, drinking a little bit of alkaline water is not going to help you. You're still going to have an acidic blood and you're still going to have am ammonia production and you're going to have uric acid production. So it's best to be avoided, okay? Um, so in one study, they showed when they doubled the protein intake from 35 to 78 grams, guess what happened to the urinary calcium? It basically, this protein intake acidified the blood so much that the calcium from the bones had to leak inside the blood to alkalinize this acidity. So when they tested these people who, whose um, intake, protein intake went from 35 to 78, there was 50% more urinary calcium detected. That's how much acid buildup you get from increasing your protein. So if you're having a high protein diet, you may wanna consider, reconsider this. Not good for you, just saying. Um, and another study showed that people who had um, increased protein intake had 3.7 times more bone fracture, which goes hand in hand with the other findings that, you know, the calcium comes into the blood to neutralize the acid, to alkalinize your blood. And, you know, it's kind of like soda, same thing. That's what soda does. And it makes you prone to fractions, fracture. So if you want a healthy gut bacteria, if you want an alkalinized gut, if you want an alkalinized um, blood, focus on eating fruits, vegetables, and sprouts. The best diet or lifestyle that could achieve that goal is a whole food plant-based diet. Hands down, better for everything. All your systems, including the gut and the acid-base balance. I hope that helps, thank you.